Uh oh. Time for more poo flinging. Get the tarps out! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Leader Class, Optimal Optimus. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's so right up front here, we have the Monkey Rage! Right there on the box. Optimal Optimus, he is a leader class, a class A leader, and a class A leader. I'm not trying to say these right, by the way, so don't correct me because I'm not, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying. Anyway, on the side of the box here, we have Optimus Primal on the top, Power of the Primes on the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots that does this, that, the other things and stuff. And if we come up here, we have a bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork there of Optimal Optimus. And on the back he is Optimal Amalgamous bestows a beast mode upon every living bot. You will now be a gerbil. Ray for cards. Man, moving right along, here we have Optimal Optimus, and he's a fun figure. He's not a perfect figure, but he's a fun figure to mess with, in my opinion, anyway. So, here he is in his, uh in his jet mode, which is basically just Optimus in the Superman pose there, up, up, and away! You know, it's just, it's what it's always been, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice transclearance blue plastic there for the cockpit section. You got some silver paint as well, some dark gray going on. Uh, we'll open up the cockpit now and show this off. There is a matrix in there and we can pop that out. And here we have the matrix which is nicely done and you can pop out the core if you want to. The core itself does not transform. It's a single piece. But you can pop a Prime Master in here, a Titan Master in here, whatever you want to do. Yeah, there's his little matrix. And uh, no, unfortunately, you can't have a, uh, a Prime Master or a Titan Master actually sitting in here. There's not enough room for him to actually sit up. There's just not enough space in there, but there you go, little matrix in there. So now we'll continue on with the uh, jet details. Of course, you have just the fist just hanging out back there. But some nice details. You got uh, pegs right here to plug some Titan Masters or Prime Masters onto if you want to. Little maximal symbol sticker right there. You have sticker details going down the side right there. And you have the tail fins, which should have been flipped up. There we go. That makes a world of difference. Uh, anyway. <laughs> and there is toes just hanging out the back. And this section right here, if it's not blatantly obvious, this right here is Optimus Primal. And this is pretty much his whole involvement in this toy is just being a... Uh, being a slab. That's basically his involvement. He's a, he's a slab. He's a slab bot. It's really all he does. As far as integrating with the rest of the figure, he's, he, his job is to be a slab. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. And there's the underside. Now he does include accessories. He does include two guns right here. Just cast in a silver-ish plastic. Pretty nicely detailed. And you can just take these and plug them right up top. Right there. Like so. Let me just plug it right there. There you go. And you got the jets all armed up. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here it is with the perfect effect version. In jet mode as you can see how that looks right there and here it is with the original superman optimal optimus in its jet mode so you can see how they look together so there you go 
So that is pretty much it for the jet mode. Uh, you know, what you, what you see is what you get. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So what we're going to do here is we're going to detach this whole top section here. Uh, there are a couple locking points here. You do have uh, little tabs that peg into his heels. So you have to undo these tabs. And one thing to note is when you're going into jet mode, and we'll just take this off here. One thing to note when you're going into jet mode, um, there is a little, little locking tab here that just goes over that section. You don't want that locked in when you're going into jet mode. When you're going into jet mode, you want to leave that unlocked so the foot will sit level because if you leave this up, that will not line up and things will get in the way and these little these little tabs here will not be able to tab in right there. So when you're going into jump mode, just make sure that is unclipped so the foot can sit level. So anyway, once we do that, we'll put that off to the side and now we'll focus on, uh, on the slab here. So you want to remove the guns and then you're just going to take this front section here. There's a little thooping point right in here on this hinge. So unthoop it like that. And then you're going to bring this hinge down and then bring this up and this peg will plug in right there. So just plug that all in like that. And there you have full on slab mode. So we're basically done with that. So we'll put that off to the side. And now we will bring in what's left of the jet here. Let me raise up a bit so I got some room to operate. So now with the rest of the jet, uh, not much to do here. You just want to, uh, you know, again, just bring the legs up. So those little clips clip into place, which this one did it on its own. So thank you very much. And you're just going to bring the feet up. You take these tail fins, just bring them back. And then you're going to take the shoulder sections here and you can see the little rail it's on. They're just going to rotate down and it will lock in place right there. Just bring the arm down. Bring it down, do whatever you want with these wings. They can rotate, move up and down. So do whatever you want there. Uh, rotate the forearm in, see so your proper monkey arms. Rotate down, bring it down, down, rotate. And there is actually a little thooping point here for the elbows to lock the elbows in place. So just unthoop them. Again, do what you want with the wings. And then you want to come in here. You want to rotate the monkey head first before you flip it out because his chin does not allow you to actually rotate the head all the way when the head is flipped up so you have to bring it back to rotate it around so bring the head up and there you go so there you have the monkey mode and yes i'm going to keep calling it the monkey mode because i know it makes you guys so mad but anyway <laughs> anyway, so there you have the monkey mode. So what you do with the monkey mode in this configuration is you take the slab here and you have tab right here, tab right here, tab right here, tab right here, and you have four slots underneath his feet. So you just line these up and just tab them on like that. And slide it up, tab it on, give it a push down, and now you have Optimus surfing, hang 10, big kahuna, there you go, that's exciting. <laughs> So yeah, this toy does invoke all of Prime's forms in Beast Wars, which is pretty cool. So you know he gets the, uh, the surfboard, the surfboard gimmick there. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And you can take the guns here, and you can store them on the hips. You just ports right there. You can just take them and plug them in there for storage. So there you go. Woo. We will remove the slab now and continue on. So if you notice, um, in monkey mode, he does, in this configuration anyway, in monkey mode, he does end up with this giant gap in his back, which is kind of unsightly. And even from the front, you can kind of see it. There's just like, there's just nothing behind his head there. Um, but there is something you can do about that. And that's where we bring in 
the slab. So what you do here is you just unpeg this section and just bring it down like so. And what's going to happen here, let me raise up again, is you have these tabs on either side right here. And we're going to go into these slots right here. So you just take this and just slide it down like so. And then you have these two tabs, which will go into these two slots right here. So you just angle all this, tab that in. And you also have a, uh, you have a tab and slot right there and a tab and slot right there. And you just line all that up. That's the connection for the jet mode also. So it just locks all that right back in where it was. Like that. So now his back gets filled in, which is quite nice. And then you can take the guns off of the hips. And a couple things you can do. Um, you can plug them in right here where they were in jet mode. If you like that look better, you want the cannons to just be a little shorter. If you want them longer, you can plug them into these top ports up here. The instructions tell you to, uh, to plug them in like that, but if you don't like those gaps being visible, you can always just turn them around, and that's personally what I do. You can have that going on. But there you have the full-on Optimal Optimus Monkey Mode. Which does look better because, you know, it fills in that big gap behind his head. Um, he does end up with a lot of backpack. He just has the big slab backpack. <laughs> and again, this is... All Primal does, as far as combining with this toy, is just be a slab that just hangs off of each mode. But hey. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get in close here so we can take a look at the full on monkey mode here. And it is a nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Nice red for the eyes. You got some silver there on the head it's pretty nicely done you got some silver here on these shoulder pieces again the maximal symbols are stickers he doesn't have his name printed on his chest though drop the ball hasbro drop the ball how are we supposed to know who he is if his name is not printed on his chest anyway um you got stickers here on his knees you got some sticker details right here on the forearms as well so pretty nicely detailed. Big orange feet with the silver toes. And again, just a big old slab of a backpack. <laughs> now articulation wise, in monkey mode, the head can rotate only but so far before his, uh, his big chin gets in the way. Arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. You also have uh, these joints as well, if you need them. Uh, you do have a rotation at the elbow. You get over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. The wrist can rotate. The fingers can open and close. They're all just one solid piece. Uh, the thumb can move up and down for transformation. Uh, he does have a waist joint, but it's locked when you have the slab totally tabbed on. Um, if you untab the slab, it does give him waist rotation, so that's up to you if you want to leave this tabbed in or not. Totally up to you. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. Whoop. As things come undone, you weren't supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to do that at all. Work with me, man. Work with me. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Nope. Everything's everything's just everything's just fighting me now. You stay. You stay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, uh, come on, man. Come on. There we go. Okay. Sorry. You just felt the need to fight me a little bit there for a second. Legs. Let's talk about legs now. Uh, the legs can move forward. Only that far if you leave them as is. Um, if you undo the, uh, the little clip here for the thigh, you know, you obviously get some more range of movement going forward, backward, that's as far as you can get because the slab gets in the way. Outward, you can do the full splits. Uh, you do get 
thigh rotation. As far as the knee joint goes, again, if you leave that clip in, you don't get any kind of actual knee joint, but if you undo it, you know, you can get some semblance of a knee joint there if you need it. And the feet can move up, can move down, and you have a good amount of ankle tiltage there. And for comparison, here he is with the perfect effect version of Optimal Optimus. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with the original Optimal Optimus. So you can see how they look together. So there you go. So there you have the full-on Optimal Optimus monkey mode. So now let's focus on the slab. Okay, so let's remove the slab here. So again, just untab it from the back here and just slide it up. And we'll put Mr. Monkey off the side. We will remove the guns. Put those off to the side for now. And we will focus on the slab here. So again, you just want to bring this up and peg this in like that. And now we're going to just unclip this section here. So just take and just crack it in half. Uh, this section here is on a slider. So you just want to slide that all the way back and you have a tab that will go in right to there. So just bring that up, tab that in like so. So at this point now we want to untab the foot. So bring it out. You see the tab just goes right there. Bring the leg down. You want to untab the hand from the hip. Rotate the leg. They have leg all done. Second fast, just like the fast. Untab. Bring down. Untab the hip. Rotate the leg. And there you have the legs all done. And you just take the shoulder pieces. Bring them up like that. Flip down the chest. Flip up the head. Close that back up. And there you have little Optimus Primal. And it's a nice little Optimus Primal, you know, um, he doesn't have his own beast mode, um, his only purpose is to be a slab, that is his only alt mode, that is his only other identity, <laughs> is being a slab, as far as this toy goes, but it's still a nice little representation of his robot mode. So that's getting close here, so we can take a look now at his chest, at that noggin, there it is. And it's a pretty good head sculpt. Nice silver paint there on the face, red for the eyes, over there on the head crest. Definitely not a bad head sculpt. Got some nice silver and red there on the chest. Uh, the maximal symbol on his shoulder is a sticker. Silver here for the crotchial region, as well as some blue. Hands are painted. Got the white and red. Color scheme there for the legs. And half the slab on his back. Hey. Now articulation wise, the head can just rotate, can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. Uh, the elbows are on a ball joint, so you get 90 degrees of bend as well as rotation. Uh, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Uh, hips are on a ball joint. Legs can go forward that far back, only that far because of slab. Outward movement, that far, you get thigh rotation, you do get a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there, and uh, nothing at the feet, because that is just one solid piece. So, you got that going on. Of course, you can give him these guns if you want to. Now, the instructions tell you to plug them in like this, have him holding them as clubs if you want to. It's a thing you can do if you want to. Me, personally, I just give them the two guns. As always, your toy. Display it however you wish. And now Primal can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Dreadwind and Voyager Starscream. Just so you can get a sense of the size of Optimus Primal. As you can see, a little bit bigger than a Deluxe. Definitely smaller than a Voyager. So, there you have that. Here he is with the Generation Toy version of Optimus Primal. You can see how oh, they look together. Here he is with Masterpiece Optimus Primal. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the original Beast Wars 
Optimus Primal. And here he is with Orion Pax and Hot Rod. And as you can see, he is he is the shortest of the three. So there you have Optimus Primal, and there you have Optimal Optimus in monkey mode. Just so you can see how they look standing next to one another. And that's pretty much it. So let's get down to the main events, the full-on combined robot mode. So we'll put Primal off to the side, and we will get Optimal Optimus ready to go. So to do that, you just want to take his head, bring it down, and rotate it around like so. You want to take the arms here, the shoulders rather, and rotate them back up and they will lock in place right there. Rotate the shoulder up, lock it into place. You want to rotate the upper body 180 like so. Then you just bring the arms down. We'll rotate at the elbow here just so everything is oriented properly. Bring the hand around, bring the thumb around. Again, do what you want with the wings. And there you have one side all done. Bring that around, bring that around. Rotate, flip the thumb. And the upper body is ready to go. And for the lower body, you just want to, again, just undo that little clip right there. And then you just want to unclip the leg. It's very stiff. There you go. Unclip that, extend the leg, and it will lock into place up there like that. Flip that in. So again, just undo that clip. Unclip that. Lock it up there. Bring that in. And there you have the main body ready to go. And again, just so you can get a comparison here and see how much it's grown. There you go. So now that we have that done, we'll put this off to the side. And now we'll bring a primal back in and get him back into slab mode. So, remove the guns from his hands. Open up the chest, flip the head back down, close that back up. Bring down the shoulder pads. Rotate the legs in and just tab the hands there in to the hips like so. Bring the legs up and again you got that tab that'll go right in there. So just tab that in, like so. Tab the hand in, bring that up. Tab that in. And then you just want to untab this section here and just leave that hanging. And you also want to just untab this section here, extend it, and just kind of leave that hanging like that. And now we will bring the main body back in. Straighten that out a little bit. So what's going to happen here is you have these two posts right here on either side that are going to go into these two clips right here. So just take this and drop it down and just push it down. That'll clip into place. And then you just bring the backpack section up and these will just clip in right back here. Just bring that up. That will clip in like that. And then you just take this hinge, bring that up, fold this up like that. So you got the chest piece, and then we just flip up his head. It does lock into place. Just kind of get your finger like underneath the panel it's on, and just pull it up until it locks into place. Turn the head around, and there you have Optimal Optimus in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good in my opinion. I think they did a pretty good job with this figure. Now, you do have options here as far as the shoulders. Um, if you don't want these panels here, you can pop these off. They do just untab and that reveals some more uh, sticker detailing here. You can say just tab in right there. If you want to, you can take these sections here and bring them up to the shoulders. You can see the uh, little nubs on either side and they will just peg in right there. So if you want Optimus to have the uh, taller shoulders, you can totally have that look going on. If you wish, as always, your toy, display it however you want.
But hey, it's an option, and as always, options are good. But yeah. It's all up to you what you want to do there. Either way, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. It's a pretty nicely done head sculpt. You get that silver there in the face, red for the eyes. You got the nice orange and blue. Looks pretty good to me. And of course, you had the uh, matrix right there in his chest, which is nice. And all this detail is just stuff we've already seen, but hey, worth giving another pass anyway. Just so you can see how it all ends up in the combined robot mode. Again, Primal just ends up being a slab on his back. <laughs> Ah, uh, so unfortunate. They they didn't even give him a chance. They didn't even give him a chance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, as far as optimal Optimus's articulation goes, uh, the head is just on a rotational joint, so it can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360 in and out. Again, you have those joints there if you need them. Rotation at the elbow. Over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. I know we've already gone through all this, but hey. Rotation at the wrist. Hands can open and close. Thumb can move up and down. You do have waist rotation. Legs forward that far, back that far before the slab gets in the way. Outward can do more than the full splits. Can kind of do those high kicks there. Thigh rotation. Slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And the feet can move up, move down, and tilted jaw. Now, as far as the weapons go, you do have options for those as well. You can take the two guns and just plug them end to end, like so, to make one gun. And you can bring his thumb down, and it actually pegs into this port in his thumb. Which is weird, and looks weird, because it is weird. But that's how you have him holding the gun. And that's just weird. You can kind of bring the thumb up a little bit. It doesn't really help, you know, you can do that. Which, I mean, looks a little bit better, but it's still just... It just... that just... yeah, that just looks weird. <laughs> that just looks weird. Nah. <laughs> Probably better you don't have him holding the gun. Oops! And his thumb just came off. Why, 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 why you do that, man? Why you do that? Yeah, that just... yeah, that's just... Let's just pretend that he can't hold the gun. I think it's better off that way. Um, and of course, if you want to, you can take the guns and just store them on the uh, the legs, like you can in monkey mode. If you want them stored, hey, totally up to you. Or if you want, we can come up to the shoulder region here, and you can plug them up top here, like they were for jet mode. They do plug in there quite comfortably, so that's an option as well. Or, if you want it to be just like the original toy, you can take his chest and bring it down, and you can plug the guns right in here, like that. And you can take this chest piece and bring it up so it sits flush underneath, like so. And you can give him the full-on toy chest guns there, which is pretty cool. So again, you got options. As always, options are good. But me personally, I actually like to leave them, uh, I like to leave them plugged up here. My personal preference. As always, your toy, do what you want with it. What do I care? What do I care what you do with your toys? Why do you care what I do with mine? Right? Right. So, there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the perfect effect, Optimal Optimus, which is still my personal favorite. I think that figure is awesome. But you can see how those two look next to one another. Here he is with the original Optimal Optimus. You can see how they look together. His shoulder game is a lot stronger, though. <laughs> and last but not least, here he is with Power of the Primes, Leader Optimus, and Leader 
Rodimus. Just so you can see how the three liters from this line measure up with one another. So there you have Optimal Optimus. Um, he's a fun toy. He is a really fun toy to mess with. I've been quite enjoying this figure. It's not perfect, but definitely enjoyable. My only real complaint is that I wish Optimus Primal um, integrated into the other modes a bit better than just being a slab that you just stick on to the back of everything. Like, that's my only real complaint is I just wish they found a way to better integrate uh, Primal into all of the other modes. But, oh well, it is what it is. But all in all, you know, looks good, fun to mess with. It's definitely a nice update to the character, in my personal opinion anyway. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Power of the Primes toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power of the Primes playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Power of the Primes Leader Class Optimal Optimus. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Where are we going? We're going to the grocery store. I don't want to go to the grocery store. I want to go to the park. We can't go to the park today. We have to go to the grocery store. I want to go to the park. Maybe we'll go tomorrow. I want to go today. Well, we can't go today. Don't make me throw a fit. I will throw a fit the whole time we're in that store. Oh, please don't do that. Oh, I will do that. Test me. <sighs> Fine, we'll go to the park. Woohoo! We're going to the park! We're going to the park!